In my BID update last month, I talked about the Yongwang U9 Track Edition, setting new vehicle speed record at the automotive testing Papenburg test track in Germany. While that was true, what I did not know or make clear is that the Track Edition is not going to be a production car, unlike the Rimets Navara R, which you can buy. That was last month, and BID moves at China speed, introducing the Yongwang U9 Extreme, a limited run of 30 is being made available to customers, definitely in China. Maybe one of the six Middle East countries can buy them too. Thankfully, the U9 Extreme won't be sold in the US because Chevrolet owns the Extreme name with an X used for a sport appearance package on the 90s S10 pickup. Fun fact, you could order that with their anemic four-cylinder Iron Duke engine. While that truck is all show, no go, the U9 Extreme is all go, you better wear your brown pants. It's now the fastest production car in the world, breaking the previous U9 Track Edition, which apparently was just a dry run, and the previous fastest combustion car, a Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300+, plus, which is arguably a worse name. It hit 496 kilometers per hour, 308 miles per hour, topping the Bugatti by about three miles per hour. And the driver behind the wheel, German Mark Bassenberg, was extremely excited. While we're on the inside, let's take a look. Lots of test equipment, of course. The seats are production with the Yongwang symbol stitched into them. The Extreme model gets what looks like a carbon fiber roll bar and cross braces. On the outside, pictures on the marketing website show it with a large rear wing, which looks badass and helps in the turns. But this straight line run, they opted for the standard shark fin that you see on the regular U9, that reduces the drag. You can see they taped up gaps in the front hood. I assume that's allowed for official runs. The Extreme Edition features lower ground effects and a front splitter that's more pronounced than the standard U9. The tires are a custom blend for the U9. The word Yongwang is molded into the side. They're from Gitti Tires, an Indonesian company headquartered in Singapore. So not Michelin or Pirelli. Gitti Sport GTR Pro. And you can see that they've been shaved down for this record run or they've been doing tank turns in the parking lot. That's another wild thing that the U9 does with its quad motors. They state that each of the quad motors produces 555 kilowatts. I calculate that to be 2,977 horsepower. And they claim that is a production record. They had to re-engineer the cooling system and increase oil lubrication to each motor to ensure its peak performance. They can spin it up to 30,000 RPM, another record for a production EV. High RPM allows it to achieve a high top speed without resorting to a different gear ratio or resorting to a two-speed transmission like the Porsche Taycan. Motivation comes from a 1200 volt electrical architecture. Again, a series production first they claim. Carbon ceramic discs all around and titanium calipers help slow this beast down when needed. Note that they are not branded Brembo. For all the sick EVs coming out of China, they often rely on Brembo for brakes and European tire manufacturers, but not the U9 Extreme. If you recall, the U9 is the hypercar that can jump. That's due to the DSUS X active body control system, which gets retuned for the extra power and performance of this battery electric. Looking at the detailed specs for the standard U9, the U9 Extreme, the electric Navara R, and the petrol Bugatti, you can see that the U9 Extreme just muscles its way to the top speed record. All BYDs, including Yongwang vehicles, use lithium iron phosphate batteries, so not a surprise that it's heavier than the Rimats. But surprisingly, the Bugatti is a porker in its own right with that 16-cylinder engine, all of these top speed runs are at the ATP track in Germany, which is only 372 kilometers away from the Nürburgring Neuschleife. You know that place. And that's the subplot for this story. And it wouldn't surprise me if like an hour after I publish this video, we get another press release. They released a time of 
under seven minutes, making it faster than the Rimat Nevera. Rimat has not recorded an official run with their R version, and it's faster than the production Xiaomi Su7 Ultra. Bugatti has not taken their sled to this track. Seven minutes puts it in the range of a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, depending on who's driving it. The Xiaomi Su7 Ultra prototype, i.e. it's a race car, is a Chinese competitor. It was much faster, but it is far from a production vehicle. On the track, they do use that huge rear wing for downforce, and you can see those carbon ceramic brakes glowing, trying to slow this EV down in the turns. It looks like the crew all signed this vehicle in yellow paint marker on the rear sides. The Yangwang is the fastest production car in the world at 308 miles per hour, regardless of powertrain type. It is also the fastest production electric vehicle around the Nürburgring, defeating the Xiaomi Su7 Ultra, but I expect that they are retuning their cars to try and squeeze out an even better time for the U9. No way they can catch the fastest petrol-powered sports cars in the world. They're just too light on this twisty high-speed track to catch. It's going to take a leap in battery technology, like all solid-state batteries, to radically improve the energy density and allow a battery electric vehicle to catch the likes of the best Porsches and AMGs in the world. And given the rapid evolution of electric vehicles, that may not be too far away.